digital bridge, uh, what is it and uh, what does it do? Well, first and foremost, we're a publicly traded real estate investment trust, John, which um, probably really doesn't do the, uh, the complete explanation justice. We invest, own, and operate digital infrastructure or digital real estate uh, on a global basis. Um, today, we own and operate about 43 plus billion of assets on a global basis between Asia, Europe, um, Latin America, the United States, and Canada, and most recently, uh, an $800 million commitment to build the largest data center campus in Africa. So now actually operating in, in all five continents uh, for the first time, but really we're a global business that's focused on serving customers and we serve customers by building that mission critical infrastructure that helps enable the digital economy. Um, among the various business uh, divisions or aspects of the uh, digital bridge operation, uh, which are growing fastest? Uh, where, where are you placing your bets? Well, I think what's interesting is you really uh, we're in sort of an enviable space. You don't have to pick, right? All of the verticals that we're investing in are growing incredibly fast. So, you know, we have five um, really important investable themes right now that translate specifically into dollars spent into infrastructure. So the first thematic that we think is most topical for today's discussion is just, you know, cloud migration. Um, the movement to the cloud is, is probably uh, is a multi-decade movement for enterprises and for institutions and for consumers. Um, and we'll be doing that for the next decade. Uh, about 1.3 trillion, that's trillion dollars of CapEx, will be spent between now and, and 2028. So we've got six years to basically put out a cadence of roughly about $175 billion of CapEx per year, keeping up with Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, well, Meta, and, and other web scalers. Second theme is 5G networks. We've been, uh, we, we've started about a year ago building 5G networks here in the US, in the United States. Uh, we're, we've already built 5G networks in the Nordics. We're building them in Europe, we're building them in Asia. We'll eventually build them in Latin America, but the migration path, John, from 4G to 5G is one of the most complicated builds that I've ever been involved in since starting to build network infrastructure when I started as an entrepreneur in 1994 in Philadelphia building my first, my first startup. I'd say the third most interesting thematic that we see is the movement of data uh, or data gravity to the edge. Uh, and we can talk, uh, Neam, a little bit more about this, but um, one thing COVID taught us is the infrastructure and how data was ultimately transmitted and how data ultimately fell to the consumer of the enterprise. COVID flipped that upside down. So traditionally, a lot of data was used in the CBD center, but COVID taught us that you had to have data and capabilities and storage and compute in secondary and tertiary markets and moving out into the suburbs. And that completely fipped, you know, flipped sort of the thesis on its side. And so edge computing was born. So we're, we're investing a lot in edge computing. The fourth thematic I really love talking about is um, IoT, uh, Internet of Things. And this is really the industrialization of wireless networks with the overlay of applications. And so the ability to take wireless networks and to transform the enterprise you know, create a faster experience. This is digital transformation at its core. And I know, Neam, you want to talk about this too, but we've got numerous enterprise case studies, whether it's Ford Motors, whether it's the Port of Long Beach, whether it's all the New York City airports, we're using digital technology to change workflows, to change processes, to change yield management. I mean, this is the core of what you teach at the university today, and it's happening. It's all happening right now. It's super exciting. The fifth uh, thing that I'd say is, is um, software-defined networks. This will be the biggest paradigm shift in how we build networks going forward, not rely, relying on sort of a one-to-one -one linear uh, relationship with infrastructure and with the network, but really virtualization of the network and the enterprise and being able to dial up resources on a global basis. We're spending a lot of time on this. Um, uh, probably our hottest product right now in fiber um, is software-defined WAN, wide area networks. And this is what all um, CIOs and CTOs are doing at major enterprises today is they're they're creating a virtual layer uh, to their wide area network, which is, think about what the wide area network is today, John, it's the planet, right? It's, you can't think in a single dimension. So these are incredibly exciting thematics. And so they're all growing, right? And so they're all growing at like 25 to 35% CAGR. So I walk in every day and I tell our, I tell our team, I said, look, uh, we're pretty lucky, right? We walk into this app, apple orchard every morning. Some of you are picking up apples and selling them. Some of you are making apple juice, some are making apple pie, but we're in one of the most fertile apple, apple orchards in the world today. And so there's a lot of investable opportunity. And so we're raising capital. 
We're yeah. backing great management teams. We're building great companies through buy and build strategies. And we're working with some of the most exciting customers and logos in the world. It's really a, this isn't work. I mean, I, I feel really lucky. I get to come in every day and, and every day we get to write a new narrative. So it's pretty exciting.